So let's all agree. AI has become a mandatory tool for all developers in 2026. But we can't also deny the fact that we are slowly losing the ability to code on our own. And I think it's reasonable. It's the same as us humans losing the ability to hunt for food because we can just go to the supermarket and buy one. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can keep your coding skills up to date in the age of AI. And no, you don't have to stop using AI tools completely. But if you're one of those developers who think that since AI can code, I'll just copy paste and focus on other stuff. This video might just change your perspective. So unless you want to risk being unemployed, pay close attention because what I'm about to share can save your career. So before starting, I want to share a story. In 2025, I had just left the company that I was working for. So I haven't admitted this publicly, but in the last company I was working at, I relied heavily on AI for almost everything. My manager used to give me the task, and before even opening my editor, I used to go to AI and paste the requirements. It used to give me code. I used to review, make a few changes, send a pull request, and scroll reels for the rest of the day. So after I left that company, I applied to another one and was called for an interview. I went there, answered every theory question, and at the last, the senior engineer gave me a task to write a code in front of him. That's when I realized he fucked up. I just stared at the keyboard like I was seeing it for the first time. I couldn't even remember a simple string manipulation method. The interview ended, and they told me they would get back, but I knew they weren't. That's when I realized I forgot how to code. AI reduces the burden of coding, but that doesn't mean we can forget how to code. Sure, it gives us breathing room to focus on other important skills, but we can't completely give up coding. So to keep up your coding skills, there are three things you should start doing. First, what I want you to do is dedicate some time to AI-free coding. I know you may have a busy schedule, but I want you to make a few hours available where you just turn off all these AI tools, open your normal editor, and write some code yourself. Sure, you can still use AI to Google small things or clarify basics, but don't torture it to generate code. So the reason for this is, you know, when you don't use a machine for a long time, it takes time to get it back to working. The same goes for your coding skills. The more you don't write code on a regular basis, the more you'll lose your skill to write code. So when every day you give a few hours to train your finger and brain to write code, you will not lose your ability. Sure, not using AI at all can be a solution, but we need to acknowledge the fact that AI does save us time. And when you have to meet a deadline at work, not using AI can be foolish. So the perfect balance between using AI and not using it is to create an AI-free coding time after your work. Even if you are at your work and don't have a tight deadline, you can try coding on your own. So many of you might have questions about what to build in that AI-free coding time. Should you do leak code or build an application? That's an important question, and I'm going to talk about this later in this video. But don't miss this second point, it's important. So the second point is the part where I teach you the right way to use AI, apart from just ordering it to generate code. And that is to use AI as your learning tool. Still in 2026, most people don't realize how powerful AI can be for learning. Unlike Google, where you have to go through page after page to look for your answers, AI tools are like our mentor who gives us straightforward answers to our questions. And this significantly boosts our learning curve. If you don't know a certain concept, ask it to explain it like you are a five. If you can't understand a code, ask it to explain in a simple way. If you're not sure in your decision making, ask it for a recommendation. I mean, we are ignoring how useful and time-saving AI can be for learning. This is often the right way to use AI, along with asking it to generate boilerplate code. So that brings us to our third point. All these tips are useless if you don't do this last part. That is, getting your hands dirty. In tech, no matter how much experience you have, your learning doesn't stop. I'm talking about projects. The common mistake I see with most people is that they always build comfortable projects. The same CRUD application gives them this false sense of achievement that they are actually getting better. But that's an illusion. I mean, repeating the same kind of project does make you better at that one thing, but you're not expanding your knowledge. Remember the first thing I told you? Separating time for AI-free coding. So what you need to do at that time is to work on something that challenges your knowledge. But where can you find that type of project? Well, the platform I use and suggest is CodeCrafter. And this isn't one of those watch a tutorial and build together platforms. On CodeCrafters, 
You actually build real tools from scratch, like Git, Redis, or even your own database engine. You're not copying code. You're understanding how things really work by creating one yourself. The platform is free, but in case you want to go with a paid version and get some extra benefits, go through the link in the description. So back to the video. Now you know how to use AI, when to use it, and when not to use it. If you become disciplined enough to follow this, you will not forget to code, you will improve your skills, and you don't have to worry about being unemployed after your current job. So let's talk about the question most developers have in their minds. Why should you learn typing code on your own when AI can do it for you? Well, that's a valid question. I mean, rather than memorizing syntax, skills like system design, understanding business context, performance, architecture, and security are what make you truly valuable, and AI cannot replace these. But coding itself is still essential. If you forgot how to code, how can you review the code generated by the AI? At the end, Coding is what makes the system. Not being able to code as a developer doesn't make any sense. AI reduces the burden, but doesn't remove the need for a developer to be able to code. So I hope you got your answers now. Time has changed. So you also have to change your way to become relevant in 2026. By the way, if you're also frustrated with the competition, not getting any job, and maybe looking to switch your role, I recommend you check out this video. I have listed five high demand and less competitive tech jobs that you can take advantage of. So yeah, that was it for this video. I hope it was worth your time. Make sure to check out Code Crafters. And if you like this video, make sure to show your love and I'll see you guys in the next one.